Welcome to your Fire Station Color My Cookie Kit. I have gone ahead and unpacked everything. Let's see what we have in the kit. So we have six cookies, two fire trucks, two Dalmatian paw prints, and two fire hydrants, along with the pallet cookie. We have two empty cups, one for the packet of sprinkles, and one for water. We have the red and white sprinkles, and then we also have these decorative sprinkles for the fire truck. One bag of yellow frost, of a yellow royal icing, and one bag of black. Two paintbrushes, a set of gloves, and the instructions with the QR code to this video, along with all the contents for the kit. From your house, you will need a set of scissors and a paper towel. The first thing that you should do if you have not is wash your hands. And I'll pause the video here so that you can do that and I'll see you in just a second. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is put on the gloves. And then after that, I'm going to open the packet of red and white sprinkles and pour them into the empty cup provided. Okay, that aside and I'm all set. All right, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you two different ways to decorate a paw print. The first is with the black royal icing so what we're going to do is cut off just the end and then get the icing flowing a little bit. And what we're going to do is something called flooding. So we have gone ahead and done all of the outlining for you of all the shapes. And what we're going to do is pour the icing into the outline here of one of the paw prints. So I, whenever I do this, I always start with the outside and work my way to the middle. So I'm just going to squeeze the bag lightly, and start on the outside, and fill in the space. So I'll, I'll show you a little, you can see a little better on this larger one. So I've got the icing coming out of the bag, and I work on the edge first. And then I'll move my way to the middle. We, don't, we want to make sure that there are no gaps between the outline and the icing coming out of the bag because that, there will be a, a gap in your finished cookie when you're all done. So now I'm working on filling the middle and then I like to pump the bag up and down in here, uh, the fresh icing just to pop any air bubbles. If you have a really big air bubble, then when it dries, it will sink down. It will not be smooth. So we're gonna pop all those. And then we're gonna continue with these littler ones, filling them in, pumping up and down. And one more. Okay. So this is flooding. And then we have our finished paw print. I'm going to let that dry over here for a little bit. And the second cookie I'm going to do, we're going to paint it black. So I'm going to get the brush wet. Actually, move this out of the way. Move this closer to me. I've got the black here. We're going to activate this color by getting it wet and rubbing the brush on there very well. And then we can start painting. Okay, so I've got the black. Watercolor. I'm just going to get all the way to the edge in here. And 
this one too. You want to make sure to get into all the little cracks. So you may have to turn the cookie as you go. That's why we give you the gloves so you can touch it while you're working. Okay. A little bit more water. Okay. Get this on there. The less water you have, the darker the color will be. You want to try and use as little as possible for this black part. All right. Now you can dry, let it dry at this point, and once it dries, you can go back over it again with a second coat, and it will be a little bit darker. So there's the second way to decorate the paw print. So we'll pause the video here and let you work on this step a little bit more. We'll see you in just a second. Okay, so we're going to move on to the fire hydrant. So I'm going to decorate some of the sections of the fire hydrant red and then put some sprinkles on there. So we want to do that part first, the ones that have the sprinkles, because if you, when you're putting the sprinkles on, if you miss, these bare parts, the sprinkles won't stick. But if you've already painted them, the sprinkles will stick on there and then you won't have a clean line in between the sprinkle section and the section you've painted red. So we're going to go here on the bottom, red, a little bit of water here, and then this section also right in here. We'll paint that red, and then this circle in the middle, and paint that red as well. Okay, so I've got all of these three areas painted, wet, and now I'm going to take my sprinkles and bring the cup over here. I'm just going to, actually I'm going to use my other hand. I'm going to pick the sprinkles up and then bring the cookie over the cup put on my sprinkles then the excess will just fall right back in okay you can see how so I got a little bit of line of red there and the sprinkles stuck so I have to take my finger and my gloved finger get those off and now I'm ready to continue painting so let me get my brush wet again get some more red on there and paint the rest of the fire hydrant okay so we're working from the outside to the middle you want to make sure to get all the little nooks and crannies. A little more paint here. All right. Whoop! Yeah, I say I got a little on the outside there. I don't want to try not to do that. section here on the top more red all these little corners here make sure it's all the way covered so I'm turning it as I paint and this last little part on top, I'll put some red right there. And now I'm going to open up the bag of decorative sprinkles here. And I'm just going to get out one, one of these green balls. We picked these because they kind of remind us of water. I'm just going to put that right on top. Oops. 
And because that's wet, it will stick. All right, one little rogue sprinkle there. Let me get that out. All right, and here's my fire hydrant. So we'll pause the video here and let you work a little bit more in this step, and we'll see you in just a minute. Okay, so the next step I'm going to do on the fire hydrant is paint the background blue. So I'm going to get my brush wet again, and I'm going to activate this blue here by working the brush into the blue dot. And we're going to start painting. And you see I got this little spot here red. We're going to be able to just kind of quickly go over that, and it's going to disappear. And continue painting the background blue. So I'm gonna take some time here to paint the side. So we want to make sure that we get the side here because the side is white. We'll make sure to get all the way down to the side of the frosting as I'm going. Continue along here. Working this and then painting along the edge. Make it nice and even. And we're just going to go all the way around. So we'll pause the video here and let you finish that, and we'll see you in just a minute. Okay. So as you can see here, I have colored the background on my fire hydrant blue. And I just picked this up and my green sprinkle fell off. And so I'm going to take my actually my black icing here and I'm going to pipe a little dot of the black icing and put my sprinkle back on there. So you can use the color, the, the paint color to stick it on there or the icing. All right, so there is my finished fire hydrant. Okay, now we're going to move on to the fire truck. And the very first thing I'm going to do actually is I'm going to flood the wheels black. So I'm just gonna do the same thing I did for the paw print. I'm just gonna pipe my black royal in here. Working from the outside all the way to the middle. I'm going to pump the bag up and down again just to pop any air bubbles. Do the second wheel. And there we go. Black wheels. Alright, you can do this and let it dry. I'm going to just be very careful and move on to painting my fire truck. So I'm going to use my red again. Get this red nice and on the brush and then paint paint my red fire truck. Okay. Painted red. You want to be careful to get in the ladders here. Okay. All of these little crevices. All right. I'm going to finish this and we'll pause the video here and we'll see you in just a minute. Okay, so I've finished painting the fire engine and now we're going to go with some of the other details. So I'm going to color the light and the window. I'm just going to clean my brush off here.
And now I'm going to get the yellow activated here on the brush. I'm going to paint the light on top. A little bit darker. Okay. So you can do you can use the paint or you can use the 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 royal that royal and flood it. So I'm gonna do that. Just flood this. Leave that sit there. And now we're going to do the window blue. Get the brush cleaned off here again. And get the blue. There we go. I got my blue window. And now I'm going to add the decorations. So we've got these large sprinkles here, which we're going to use. So I'm going to get out this long rod and then a few of the green balls. I'm actually going to this is for the end of the hose that we're going to have. I am going to break this in half and just use half of it. But you could use the whole thing if you want. So now I'm going to take my yellow royal icing and I'm going to pipe the hose onto the body of the fire truck. Now we want to get a nice spiral. So I'm going to start by going up towards the top and then around counterclockwise and then trail off to have the end of the hose. So I want to make a little bit of, let the royal have contact with the cookie and then pull up as I'm letting the icing fall out of the bag and let the line fall from the bag onto the cookie. There we go. I don't like to put the bag down very close to the cookie and push out because that makes it uneven and hard to control. So now I've got my hose. I'm actually going to go over it just a little, make it a little bit thicker. That's a little better. And then I'm going to pipe three dots down here. And then now I'm going to use my sprinkles. So I'm going to, this is going to be for the end of the hose, the nozzle. Put that in there. And then these three dots are going to go onto the beads of royal that I've made right there. These kind of, again, they kind of look like water, which is why we like them. So right there. Put them right onto my royal icing. And there we go. Now there's one final touch. I just, I'm going to add a little bit more yellow here to the middle of the wheels. Just to make it a little more pronounced. And there we have it. One fire truck with a hose. We hope you enjoyed this set. Enjoy making your fire station cookies. And the best part about coloring my cookie is eating it. Thank you so much.